Rock has really helped me. Um, I was told by a friend to go there. And since I went there, they like really, because I didn't have a lot of confidence or meeting people and interviews, and they really, really helped me, give me some training and, and confidence skills and other things, and then put me forward for a job here at this training for the actual tables. But I wasn't successful, but I got called back for a second interview and they offered me a position of cloakroom assistant, so I was really happy and really pleased, yeah. Because I have my advisor's um, mobile number as well as office number, and she's brilliant. Um, she helped me so much, and I'm, I'm in contact with them all the time anyway. She rings me just to say, how am I doing, and I've had contact with her. I've been with them a couple of months now. But, I mean, yeah, because it's just building me up as a person as well, first of all, before they put me forward. So they did that, so, yeah, I'm really grateful to them. Well, I'm going to be working as a game host and basically helping anyone who needs help with the machines if they have a problem. And if someone needs drinks or something, I could also get that from the bar for them, yeah. Um, you have to have loads of customer service and being friendly and polite and trying to um, entertain and keep the customers happy, yeah. Workplace was really helpful. They helped me get this job um, because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have known that Aspers was actually recruiting. I spoke to my advisor, told her what I was looking for. She made me apply online for certain jobs, like for here. And then there were certain days where they were doing training or something in um, the workplace, and I had to go through that. And then through that, I got my job interviews and things like that. Yeah. I've been unemployed for six to seven months. And the uh, workplace provided me with an opportunity that uh, I couldn't turn down. Workplace, um, I heard uh, about it through one of my cousins. And um, they, they, they show, showed me where it was and that. They're doing a brilliant work at workplace. Really helping people out. Yeah, um, I've done a uh, crew PA uh, MVQ, MVQ level two in gambling operations with uh, the gambling college in uh, Charlton and um, that was also provided by Workplace and um, yeah, I was just gone from there. Well, I mean, this particular thing, we've, we worked very hard with the company concerned and with Westfield and with Aspers and the result is we, we get a cash sum if it's successful but the key thing is hundreds of local jobs. We've got hundreds of people through Workplace getting work here and that's always why we supported it. It's about jobs for our residents. One of the things we started with, when, when, when Westfield was coming along, we didn't say give us X percent or whatever, it said work with us and work closely with us. Our workplace, our workplace colleagues have done a fantastic job working with them, but you need partners that you can work with. So our workplace colleagues have built those relationships, worked with them and made sure that the jobs are coming to local residents. You know, we'll have 5,000 people in, into work this year, half of whom have been long-term unemployed. That's an astonishing figure. Yeah, the, the partnership's been great, you know, right from the outset. What we knew was that we were sitting on the, the ability to talk to 4 million people or to have 4 million customers uh, within 45 minutes of drive time. So the business fundamentals were there. So Robin Wales said he only ever wanted one more thing out of Westfield, and that was to deliver jobs, jobs and more jobs. And, and we got the message very clearly that what he was all about was he wanted to make a big social change as well as the investment here. And the only way that would ever occur was if we could find a way to work with the council to find jobs for long-term unemployed uh, people. And we did that, we agreed that with him right up front, and we've been working on it now for the best part of five years. And I think as I stand here today, nearly 3,000 people in the local area, you know, beyond Newham as well, have uh, got their first job ever, which is an incredible tribute to the people who've worked on this. Well, f first and foremost, um, the first large casino license, the only large casino license uh, in London, was granted to, to Newham. Um, specifically, why we chose this site, the site within, within Westfield, was a leisure offering that, that Westfield's bringing to the, the east side of London. Uh, with all the other activities, with the, the cinema, with the bowling alley, with the 70 restaurants uh, and, um, and the food court they have here, um, we become that, that final part of, of the jigsaw. Well, first and foremost, when we actually won the licence, we made a £5 million contribution to the council. And we've also made a commitment to give a, a minimum of a million pounds a year going forward. And we want a revenue share so that the more successful the site is, uh, the, more, the, the more money we, we can give to, to Newham. Um, but although that's money, the other most crucial thing is local employment. We brought 440 jobs um, at opening um, to this site, and of which 70% have, uh, have come from Newham. 
and the jobs themselves are so diverse, but um, a lot of them don't need any skills when people first join us. Uh, we're able to upskill these individuals, and these 70%, they, uh, whether they're trainee croupiers or working our cash desk or security or surveillance, we train them, we teach them the skills, and that gives them those skills then to move on and, and have different careers, and we continue to commit to recruit locally.